Mark and you see the difference with the story of Jonah, this is where everybody gets stumped up. Listen to this. They sigh deeply and he says, why does this generation seek after a sign? Verily I say unto you, there shall be no sign given to this generation. And he left and entered in a ship and he left. People have never understood this. This is how powerful it is that I'm telling you right now. This has never been understood for centuries. People use these scriptures here to tell you that this book was written by men, not directed by the Spirit, and that it's corrupted because look at what Mark said. Well, how about what Matthew said? Matthew chapter 12. In Matthew chapter 12, he tells them that no sign shall be given except the, the sign of Jonah the prophet, and that Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly. So shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So what has what the world of church told us? The world of church has said, Jesus at his resurrection represented those 40 days. No, he didn't. Because he didn't do as Jonah did. And they'll tell you this was his, when he was dead for three days and three nights. And what they'll tell you to justify it is that any part of one day and any part of another day is called a day. So even though it was really a day and a half, a little bit of one day, one full day, and a little bit of the next, that was three days. No, it wasn't. This doesn't say three days. It says three days and three nights. That means 72 hours plus. 72 hours is what that means. This was not fulfilled yet. How do we know? Because... When you go to the story of the resurrection, the angel tells them. And this is why the, the, that video in the intros with the comma and is so important. He says, remember when he told you, listen to this, Luke 24, verse 7, that the Son of Man must be, so he said, saying, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men. That's the beginning. Comma and, meaning separation of events, but added together. Be crucified comma, and the third day rise again. You see, he wasn't three days and three nights in the grave. It was a little over a day and a half. There's no way to justify saying the third day he rose again when the entire story of the third day when he rose included him being taken into the hands of sinful men, being crucified, then being put in the grave and resurrected. That is not, even the entirety of these events was not a full three days and three nights, let alone being in the grave for a full three days and three nights. This has stumped people for centuries. But you know how it can be justified? Because everybody reads from the Gospel of Matthew. That's why that video on It's All Because of Matthew is so important. When your entire foundation is from Matthew and it's written to the Jews, which most of the world knows, they're learning from the perspective of the Jews. So Christians that talk about pre-trib or mid-trib or post-trib, the reason they're doing it is because they're learning from Matthew and they're saying the seven years of tribulation is to the Jews. Well, they're right in where they're thinking. The only problem is because they never understood who Mark was. They think the tribulation is only seven and that they go pre-trib. 